Newcastle United are flying high. Back in Europe, third in the Premier League, this is the story of the 2002-2003 season. Coming up, every goal from every game in every competition. We'll cover every mile of Newcastle's Champions League adventure. We'll take you inside St James's Park with Sir Bobby and his squad. There's an exclusive interview with Jonathan Woodgate, Newcastle's signing of the season. We'll hear from his new teammates, from the player of the decade to the young player of the year. And we'll speak with Sir Bobby at 70 on the team of today and his players for tomorrow. The bargain we made have been very sound, young, got a good future, have quality and got legs. And hopefully it'll all come right. The opening pre-season friendly was away to First Division Nottingham Forest. Newcastle lost 3-1, but the bright spot was Hugo Viana's first goal. The Portuguese under-21 international that cost £8.5 million from Sporting Lisbon. Titus Bramble from Ipswich was Newcastle's other summer signing. £5 million had gone to Portman Road. Both played at Molyneux, where Lomano Lawalawa scored both goals in a 2-0 win. Craig Bellamy was injured. Lawalawa was proving an able deputy. But the trademark somersault celebrations were saved for the matches that matter. Newcastle's former cartwheeling goalscorer was given a hero's welcome on his return to Tyneside. Tino Espria's hat-trick against Barcelona in 97 is part of St James's Park history. This pre-season match against Barca won't stay in the memories for quite as long. More than 51,000 saw Patrick Kluivert open the scoring. Barcelona had declared an impressive team sheet. Saviola latched on to Gaika Mendieta's pass to put the Catalans two up before half-time. And Luis Enrique headed a third early in the second half. It was a measure of things to come for Newcastle. Destiny would soon see Sir Bobby Robson reunited with his former club again in Europe's premier competition. War-torn Bosnia, the first stop on Newcastle's European tour. Victory against Elzeznikar Sarajevo over two legs would take United into the first phase of the Champions League. There was a European debut for Jermaine Genus and competitive Newcastle debuts for Titus Bramble and Hugo Viana. How would they handle the heat? The match-winning spark came ten minutes into the second half. Lamano Lawalawa twisted and turned. Kieran Dyer took up the chase. 1-2 with Alan Shearer and one touch to beat the keeper. A great finish. Newcastle were on their way home with a priceless away goal. The new Premiership season was two days old when Newcastle began their campaign against West Ham. Viana and Bramble were in from the start, and the black and whites went straight to the top. Solano's corner on by Guinness, and there's Luanua at last, the breakthrough. It's taken just over the hour, but Luana Luanua has put them ahead. Given his chance up front, he knocked that one away coolly. Shearer out wide. Slipped inside for Viana. What oh, a good fizzing shot there, pushed away by David James. That was close, Bobby. Viana again seeing plenty of the ball and looking for the cross. And Luana, Luana, Luana gets his second. And now it's all coming right for Newcastle. Again, the celebration. James got a hand to it, but in off the bar. Solano to Luana, Luana. He's had a storm and he squeezed it back for. Solano and for Shearer, and now it's three, and Alan Shearer is off and running now. Unselfish work from Solano, Shearer did the rest. Shearer again causing problems when he comes out wide. No hurry either. All the way across for Solano, and Solano deserved that goal. Four minutes from time, it's 4-0 now, and Shearer returns the compliment. Newcastle Civic Centre, the footballing dinner of the decade. The Variety Club of Great Britain was paying tribute to Sir Bobby Robson. 
a man whose footballing career spans six decades. The lad from Langley Park led his country to the World Cup semi-final. His dream now is to lead his club to the Premiership title. I think Newcastle would have won the league last season if they'd beaten New Arsenal at home. I think unfortunately it was Bellamy. And Arsenal had gone there without um, Campbell, Stepanovs and Keown. I think with Bellamy playing, they could have beaten Arsenal that day and I think they could have won the league. I'll know when it's right for me to leave. And I'll leave at the right time, but at the moment I'm, 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 I'm fine. I know there's a time when I need to smell the roses and uh, take the weeds out of the garden, but not for me yet, not yet. So it's just, I need the game, I love the game, and I, I, want, I, want, I want to stay with it, and I love the boys. The rain in Manchester fell mainly on Main Road. Newcastle fans were in for a soaking at United's last visit to City's famous home ground before they switched to the 2002 Commonwealth Games Stadium. Kevin Keegan was smiling at full time. Elka looking to get away from the Newcastle defence now. Hughes is with him. All the way across and here comes Jensen. Given his down, Berkovic is in there and Huckabee scores against his old club. The Dyes won it back. The wall the wall now with a real chance. Good save, Schmeichel. And Dyer follows up and puts it wide. Unbelievable. Great work in the first place, and by Schmeichel, that looked 1-1. Dyer down the left now. Jenis lets it run for Shearer. It won't come, will it? Solano's corner. It's only half cleared as far as Viana. Jenis couldn't quite control it, but tucks it back for Dyer. And another flying response from Peter Schmeichel. Newcastle had a one-goal lead in their Champions League qualifying tie. If they could see off the Bosnians back at home, United would be through to the main draw. Shearer knocks it out wide, but it's Dyer through the middle who's made a terrific run. And Dyer, the scorer for the first leg, gets Newcastle underway in the second. Dyer again. Now push forward for Loire, Loire. He doesn't like to give up the ball lightly, and he's found the corner of the net. Typical Loire, Loire. And so is the celebration, of course. He is such a box of tricks. Only one thing on his mind, and he really curled back beyond the keeper, inch perfect. And Bobby can relax. Dyer's running's been too much for the opposition to control at times. Shearer making a good run as well. Here comes Viana. That's his first goal. And what a strike. He has got some left foot, this boy. Shearer's off on a run now. Surely he doesn't want to miss out. That is four. And Champions League. Here we come. Now to Anfield, scene of memorable Premiership encounters between Liverpool and Newcastle. This would be no different. Craig Bellamy and Lauren Robert were on the bench for the first time. Kevin Keegan and Kenny Dalgleish were interested spectators. Ex-Liverpool players, former Newcastle managers. Who would they be cheering on? Michael Owen. Owen's got turned faced on goal. Owen so dangerous in these sort of positions. Hughes to the rescue. Great covering there. Solano has let that one slip. And this is Didi Haman. And that's 1 0 to Liverpool. Haman against his old team. Gerard with the corner. And Davizas and Herpia there were in collision. That's a penalty. Because Davizas penalised for climbing. Owen, 2-0, Liverpool. Bellamy. Bellamy again.
Superb this time for Gary Speed. And Newcastle are back in it. Lovely football, great help as well from Robert. Bellamy just teed it up. Speed finished it. Robert with the corner kick. And the header, it's there. Who else? Alan Shearer. Two minutes to go. 2-2. Two -two. Yes, says Bobby. Again. This is Harry Cool who's got out wide on the left in space and he's got options in the middle. He's got Mark Paducah and Leeds have got the lead after four minutes. Olivier Bernard, that's a decent strike and beaten away by Robinson. Good effort from the fullback and Robinson looking sharp. Solano. Hughes has continued the run out wide, and the OB and Robinson just about snatches it. Solano with a good strike, and Robinson takes off again. Good hit, and the keeper's having an impressive game. Gillen can only push that one away. Here comes Bowyer, still haven't got it clear. Here's Smith, that is 2-0, and it's all over for Newcastle today. With just four points out of 12, Sir Bobby gave Craig Bellamy his first start of the season. Stamford Bridge, though, isn't a favourite venue. Send it. Good Johnson. Oh, it's gone in. Great goal from Aidan Good Johnson. Here comes Zola. Took a deflection. It's gone in. And the little man's done it again. Zola nearly forcing Shea, giving it to the mistake. Newcastle. Still haven't got it clear. Well played, Sender. Chance over Good Johnson. Must be number three. The simplest goal, Aiden Good Johnson will score this season. We had a very poor start after that initial first game. For whatever reason, I don't know. Played Man City uh, probably at the wrong time because going back to a, a club that's just come up. Rejuvenated, fans are all excited, players are all excited, and everyone's up for it. Whereas later in the season, they're, uh, they've been struggling. Uh, you know, the fact that we'd finished fourth the year before meant that we knew we had a good side. It was just getting it together, and we needed perhaps a bit more time. So I wasn't too worried about it. I, I knew we, we, the staff was uh, quality, and it, w it would be okay. Group E of the UEFA Champions League was Newcastle, Juventus, Feyenoord and Dinamo Kiev. Match day one was a trip to the Ukraine. United had earned a point in the same fixture in 97. This time they suffered a 2-0 defeat. An unstoppable shot from Shaskic and a second half goal by Katskevich. Newcastle also lost a key player when Craig Bellamy lost his cool. Video evidence was used. Bellamy was given a three-match European ban. We've lost two nil. It's a learning experience. We've got six games to play. We've now got five, of course. We were never going to win all six, but there's hope for us, and I'm not afraid of it. The Premier League table wasn't a pretty sight for fans on Tynham Weir. Newcastle next to the bottom, Sunderland just one place above. So when the red and whites came to black and white country, it was crisis derby time. Sir Bobby hadn't quite anticipated the poor start of the season, while his good friend Peter Reid was running out of time. Just a phenomenal atmosphere in these early stages. Mashira lays it off and Dyer, and this is Bellamy away. Bellamy with an early chance for Newcastle. That is the proverbial dream start for Craig Bellamy. What a superb attack as well. Dyer's running through the middle, set it up. Dyer was going for the return. No chance, said Bellamy. I'm having that. Perfect finishing ice call in the cauldron. Akatir a bit uh, sloppy there, and Robert's got it back, and Shearer's onto it. Free kick right on the edge of that box. Jason Akatir doesn't like it. Robert trying to barge his way through. Solano for Shearer. He buried it. Alan Shearer loves scoring, especially against the Red and Whites. He just belted it and it skidded through past Sorensen. Dyer's on a strong run through the middle. And here's Bellamy again looking for a second and looking for a penalty. 
Matt Piper with the shove there, but the referee doesn't agree, and he's booked Greg Bellamy. We've lost three games in a row. A lot of people, uh, you know, it's just doing their jobs, you know, criticising us, and rightly so, you know. Um, but we needed a good result today, and that's exactly what we got. After an absence of five years, Champions League football returned to St James's, but the Dutch side Feyenoord scored the only goal inside five minutes. Played two, lost two. So Bobby took the team to meet Steve Bruce's struggling Birmingham four days later. United had lost on their last two visits to St Andrews. Not this time. Alan Shearer, bright opening by Newcastle here. Solano lining up the shot, and that wasn't too far off target. Nice turn by John. Oh, another fine save by Given. That was outstanding goalkeeping. Shearer, oh, lovely ball. Robert, back to Alan Shearer. Let's it run to Solano. What a finish. What a superb Newcastle goal. Into three minutes stoppage time, and Amiobi could wrap it up here. Newcastle United get their first away win of the season in the Premiership. And Shola Amiobi, the man who clinches it. It had been a tough start to United's Champions League campaign, and it was about to get tougher on match day three at the Stadio della Alpi in Turin. Two goals by Alessandro Del Piero, sandwiched a disallowed header by Alan Shearer. Kieran Dyer was offside and interfering with play. Juve's second involved Edgar Davids and David Trezeguet. With the group at the halfway stage, Newcastle were playing catch-up. We played three, lost three, didn't even score a goal, so it looked bleak. And it wasn't easy going to Juve, and it wasn't easy going to uh, into Ukraine for Kiev. Uh, they were tough matches. We played reasonably well, we never outplayed. It was tough because we were always aware it was going to be tough because the teams in, in, at that level are no mugs. They wouldn't be there if they were. But it was certainly a rude awakening for us to go in and have no points and no goals after three games. Next stop, Newcastle's first Premiership match against West Bromwich Albion. Newly promoted and managed by St James's old boy, Gary Megson. Eagle Ballis now gets the ball and he scored the Slovakian 1-0 West Brom. This is Kieran Dyer. Played into the middle by Solano. Now the referee says that is a back pass from Sean Gregan. That's a controversial call, but that's a free kick for Newcastle. Solano, little dummy there. Shearer, where there's a will, there's a way. Shearer's got the will and somehow he found a way through. Just last it. Speed. It's an excellent cross. Solano knocks it back. Shearer, 2 1. Normal service resumed. Excellent ball that deep. High speed. Excellent knock back, too. The finish inevitable. Bellamy now tries the shot. Joe Murphy. Shearer's in there. Offside is the call, I think. It won't stand. I think he agrees. Murphy pushed it out. Shearer first there, no goal. We weren't at our best, but we certainly were not at our worst. And whatever drains of energy we had, the players gave it to the club, and we got a hard-fought victory. And I'm really delighted. Coming out of Europe, when you've lost, coming back to play a Premiership, and you win, you can only be satisfied. Gibbons come for that one. But he's dropped it, and York off the line by Davizas with his hands. That's big trouble. Dwight York shot, and Nikos Davizas is off for that. Four minutes gone, and Newcastle are in big trouble. David Dunn, 1 0. Newcastle still under pressure again. It's done again. It's 2 0. Long ball in, hit towards Shearer, there was a bit of a shove there, and it's a second penalty from Alan Wiley, Lucas Neal just giving Shearer a push then, 
and Newcastle have got a lifeline, and that is goal number 300 for Alan Shearer, it's 2-1. 300 League and Cup goals, amazing. Laurent Robert waiting to take the corner kick. Shearer, 301, and 2-2. Two -two. Another typical Shearer goal. Great header. The corner's only half cleared. Still the ball ricocheting around, and tapped in almost by Martin Taylor. Newcastle cannot get Blackburn off their backs here. And that's an own goal. Andy Griffin got the last touch. Can it get worse? The second half's been an absolute disaster. And Martin Taylor's got a second. That's 5 2. Welcome to one of football's greats. Alessandro Del Piero led Juventus as Newcastle looked to score their first win and goal in the Champions League with Juve wearing the black and white stripes. Laurent Robert set to deliver, he's got that one in short. This is Andy Griffin, still with Andy Griffin. It's gone in, Andy Griffin has scored. It's 1-0 Newcastle. He picks his games, Andy Griffin. Found a bit of space there and Buffel helped it in. Shea Given and Steve Harper were taking turns in goal. Given was at the back against Charlton, Shola Amiobi was up front. Shearer has it. He's got men ahead of him. He's looked long over the top towards Laurent Robert. And it will get there, and Robert's done very well. That's a great ball inside. Jenis! Oh! Well, it would have been absolutely wonderful. Bit of room now for Jensen. All over the top, looking for the run of Jason Ewell. Well watched. Oh, well, it might come down to Sean Bartlett, who's in straight away. It's a goal! It's going to come all the way out to Jenis. He finds Shearer, who stayed on side. Griffiths drive! Oh, my word! When your heart, your heart! Andy Griffin, two in a week that he will never forget for as long as he lives. Oh, that's good. Well worked, Solano. Ball for Romeo. If he looks the other way, show Romeo. Robert has stayed on side. Match day five of the Champions League. Hopes of qualifying for the next stage were remote. Craig Bellamy was serving his final match ban. It was win or bust. Taken up by Peev. Away from Robert. Georgi Peev. Shat stick. Oh! The last thing they wanted. Solano's corner. Oh, yes! Gary Speed. Davizas. Sure, I couldn't take yes, it. Yes, he's Penalty. got it. Hussein has pulled his arm there. Hussein had hold of him, no question. Alan Shearer. It is on. From behind, Newcastle have hope, real hope. Dyer. Into November and into St James's Park for an exclusive insight into pre-match preparations. For Sir Bobby and first team coach John Carver, the tactics were paying off. Newcastle had found some energy. They climbed back into the top half of the FA Premier League and fought back to still have a chance in the UEFA Champions League. The squad was smiling, and like the pre-match meal, the next game was a mouth-watering prospect. It was Newcastle against Middlesbrough. Injuries and suspensions in defence meant a first start of the season for Steve Caldwell in the Tyne Tees derby. Griffin up the line. Solano's got a bit of room here to deliver the cross. Southgate only half away. Back from Solano. Here comes Robert. Mark Walter just kicks it away. Shearer back into the middle. Hook clear. Jenis. 
and Schwartz uh, wants to go over. Speed through the middle, Amiobi still come up with it and found the back of the net, 1-0, shoulder Amiobi. Speed's ball, Amiobi kept his awareness and found the corner. Excellent crossfield ball. Well, there, first time, boy. He'll have a go. Ball into space for Viana now. Norris defence is sprinting back. Viana. Schwarzer couldn't gather that one cleanly and just about got away with it. Difficult moment that for Mark Schwarzer, though. Schwarzer at full stretch again. It's Caldwell. Stephen Caldwell, three minutes to go. His second senior goal, and it's 2-0 Newcastle. Mark Schwarzer didn't get a hold of it. Caldwell did. Kieran Dyer took over the captain's armband in the Worthington Cup. Carl Court joined Clarence Acuna and Robbie Elliott for his first start of the season, while teenage sensation Wayne Rooney was in for Everton. Eventually it comes across. Well, that was such a simple finish there from Kevin Campbell. Diana, it's a great run, and it's the equaliser, and it's the captain who's done it. Oh, what a goal that was! And Dyer is on fire. Rooney's away now, though. Danger signs here, and there is the equaliser. And it's Stevie Watson, the former Newcastle player. Solano whipping it forward. Touch there for Dyer from Chopra. Court is wide. Dyer wants to go. Chopra's in the middle, so too Robert. Here comes Robert. It's an own goal. And it's Alessandro Piscone. Great challenge that. It's ball loose for Campbell. Campbell the real chance. Was that a handball? Campbell was on for the goal and Caldwell, no doubt about that. Harper, chance for him to really take advantage of his moment between the posts, but Unsworth is having none of it. United so close to going through, but at 3-3 after extra time, the tie went to penalties. Kieran Dyer. Leads from the front, the captain takes the first penalty for Newcastle and puts it away. Everton start with their banker, Unsworth has scored one. He hasn't scored a second though, Steve Harper comes up with the save. Solano with the second one and that's buried. An eventful return to St James's Park, he's got the second penalty and he's put it away calmly enough. Can he convert? No. Well, is Wayne Rooney a penalty taker as well? You might have guessed the answer. Takes the responsibility of the penalty, but he's put it over the top for the advantage. And he puts it away as well. Robert and Wright saves it. Too casual for the Frenchman, and it's Everton who go through. We took awful penalties, and, and yet the day before, in training, we took marvellous penalties. It's, it's quite different to taking penalties in training compared to taking penalties uh, in match play, and so it was that night for us. Now for the big one, a capital visit to the Premiership champions. A terrific ball for Henri. It's worrying Hughes, and playing it, Oleg Lusty! Dug out a good ball there for Viana. Away from Lushny. Viana! He's hit the crossbar! That was a fabulous effort. If Newcastle could win at Finals de Kolb Stadium and somehow Kiev could beat Juventus in the Ukraine, Newcastle would be through to the next stage of the Champions League, even after losing the first three matches. The heat was on. With the firecrackers and the noise and the pandemonium, hey, you have to have a bit of shrewdness in your head as a player to handle that.
I don't condone it, but you know the final fans are throwing stuff on the pitch, and but it's you know that's it's a proper European atmosphere. Last opportunity for Newcastle on by Shearer. Here's Bellamy, chance for Craig Bellamy, and in stoppage time at the end of the first half, Bellamy back to fitness, back from a ban. Newcastle in front. Now, Kieran Dyer. Shearer wanting the pullback. Opportunity for Newcastle. It comes out to Viana. Well struck. It's in. It's two. Kalu. Oh, space for Bombarda. It's 2 1. Oh, Newcastle, be careful. Oh, Dyer, poor, straight to Bosfeld. And learning. And now Feyenoord have the sense of a Champions League second phase place in their nostrils. I remember we were 2-0 up and we were cruising, and then I remember we were 2 all and we weren't cruising. <laughs> and they were coming at us, you know, really, really pushing hard for, for, for them to win, you know, and uh, get the victory. And it would have been out, you know, but then we, Craig popped up, you know, in the last minute or something. Shearer, it's a good jump. It's Kieran Dyer, pass Van Wondren. Oh, and Dyer blocked. Bellamy, it's in! Oh, extraordinary! Has there ever been a more dramatic night in the Champions League? You know, Craig Bellamy played great that game, and uh, Craig, I know Kieran went through in the last minute and thought we'd missed the chance he'd missed, and but luckily Craig was there to put the ball in the last minute, so it was a great night for for us, and I think it was a better night for the fans. Uh, it was a great night over there. Bellamy! It's in. When something like that happens, even in football, it just turns out a complete blur, you know. And but it was I, like I just said earlier on, it'd be it'd be impossible to to imagine anything like that again in my career. You know, winning. Hopefully, I'll be able to win it, win something in my career. But the way that happens, and you know, the last minute is it's Royal Rover stuff. I just think we we just got a belief about us. You know, at first it was all it was new to a lot of us, and we'd gone into it maybe thinking, oh, it's a, it's a new experience. Let's just enjoy it. Instead of thinking, let's go and get through, you know. But uh, maybe uh, as soon as we realised when we won a, a fourth game and we knew that we had to win the next two, it was just something that just came natural to us and just going and attacking and winning. We had nothing to lose at the end of the day, so we might as well just go and show them what we can do. And uh, I think that's what we did. After the Wednesday night celebrations in Holland, could Newcastle maintain their remarkable record of not losing immediately after a European encounter? Steve Caldwell started alongside Titus Bramble in defence. Shola Amiobi took over from the rested Rotterdam hero. The Saints, though, got a flyer. And there's an early test for Newcastle's defence. Oh, that is a fantastic strike and a brilliant goal from James Beattie. That's six in six games. And what a stunner for Bobby Robson's team. Griffin. Threading it through beautifully for Dyer. If he can turn sharply enough, posse of defenders on him. Well, Dyer's done brilliantly here. And that's the equaliser. And this time, Shola Amiobi's got his goal. Set up brilliantly by Kieran Dyer's running and control. Speed. Viana, can he get away and line up a shooting opportunity, perhaps? No, it could be one here for Aaron Hughes. And he's got the goal as well. Aaron Hughes gets the reward for pushing on. Newcastle are in the ascendancy. Here goes Dyer. And Janice as well just bypassed him. Viana will hit it first time. And Amiobi is onto it. Flags up, that one won't count. Alan Shearer is still looking for his 100th Premiership goal for Newcastle. Brilliantly done by Solskjaer, and he's completely taken out Hughes. Still Solskjaer, useful ball in, must be it is. And this time Scholes has found the target, but so much credit to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Bellamy. Bernard. Smack the defender straight in the face, O'Shea, it's come back to Bernard again, and Bart is in trouble, and he's in! I don't think he meant it. But he will certainly take it. Good play from the fullback. 
He's still got it. Towards Van Nistel, right! Newcastle are only level for three minutes. And nicely done, Sylvester again. With Van Nistelrooy waiting again, and here's Forlan. Van Nistelrooy, and it's three for United. Forlan is onside. Still Forlan. That's a hat trick for Van Nistelrooy. And it's raining goals at Old Trafford. Sylvester. There's no offside here. Solskjaer can make it five, and he has. And Solano will take the corner for Newcastle United. Towards Shearer, who won it, and Bellamy has scored. In three matches, Newcastle have played to nearly 170,000 spectators. More than 50,000 were at St James's to see Inter Milan, Newcastle's first opponents in the second phase of the Champions League. But those who took their seats late missed the opening goal. Morfio side-footed the Italians in front in the first minute, and it soon got worse. Craig Bellamy was rattled by ex-Everton defender Matarassi and shown the red card by the referee. Five minutes gone, United were a goal down and a man down. Bellamy would receive another European ban. Group A also included Barcelona and Bayer Leverkusen, but Inter were the favourites. Almeida fired them into a two-goal lead. In first half stoppage time, it was three. Crespo on the end of Okan's assist. Newcastle was starting stage two, the way they'd started stage one. Brief hope was offered by Norberto Solano. He made it 3-1 with 20 minutes to go. But Sir Bobby knew that this one had slipped away. And Rakova came off the bench to complete the scoring on 80 minutes. A 4-1 defeat and two players banned. Because UEFA looked at the video later and they punished Alan Shearer for this tangle with Cannavaro. It was a costly night. It was frustration, um, but I still maintain I didn't mean to elbow him. I meant to break free from him and my leverage of my arms was was had caught him and to be, to be fair to, to Cannavaro he was willing to to speak up on my behalf if I wanted to appeal um, I didn't appeal because if I had lost it there was a chance that I could have um, gained an extra game rather than the two could have been three so that's why I accepted my punishment and just got on with it uh, we've got to learn to be more experienced uh, more clever uh, not be the four guys which we have been and were, uh, and make sure that we don't lose anybody through uh, retaliation, if you like. Because in both Alan's case and Craig Bellamy's case, it was retaliation. By the Sunday afternoon, United were at home to a much improved Everton side. Remember the previous season? 6-2. No chance of eight goals this time, but the match did produce the goal of the season. That was Shearer, knocked out towards Bellamy! Terrific save by Richard Wright. And here's Campbell, what a good ball that was there from Answorth. And Campbell has forced it in too! Sheer determination produced the goal. Yobo and Bellamy is away from him, or would have been. The assist on his flagging, and Yobo could be in big trouble here. It's a red card. I don't think the referee had too much option. And there it was. An absolute power driver from Adam Stewart. Bellamy. Oh, it's gone in! Turnaround. Craig Bellamy. He had to feel for right here. An initial deflection, I think, off Lee Tier. Surely it uh, had come on, um, won the header, knocked it back to me. And to this day, I, I don't know why I've hit it first time, um, because I know I, ha I had time to, to take a touch and then hit it. But um, something just triggered in my head and thought, well, just hit it and take pot luck. I'd probably say goal of the season, maybe goal of the decade, goal of whatever, you know, it was uh, an unbelievable strike and probably only Alan could, could
could possibly do that. As soon as I've sat down on the bench, the ball's come up in the air, and even before it's hit his foot, I'm, I'm up off the bench and I'm on the pitch. I know it's going to be a goal. I just, as soon as he's hit it, it's, it's in the back of the net. So I reacted. I was, I was up and I was jumping about because it was such a fantastic goal. I mean, I don't think anybody saw the ball until it actually was in the back of the net. It's, it's just, it's just one of the great strikes of modern football. It's probably the most perfect shot he has ever hit in all his career. It's an unbelievable feeling, it really is. I mean, to, to score a goal anywhere is, is great, but to score one like that uh, at the Gallagher end uh, in the situation we were in was, was pretty special. It doesn't get much better than that. That evening, Shea Given was still on parade, collecting the North East Football Writers Player of the Year award from Bob Cass of the Mail on Sunday. Newcastle's number one had had a tremendous 12 months. Great, you know, it's a great honour, obviously. Um, there's a few other candidates that probably could have won it ahead of me. You know, Alan Shearer, Craig Bellamy, and I think it was Gareth Southgate, you know, so um, absolutely delighted that, that they picked me, you know. Robert has a look up and hits one, and really hits one. In come on a full stretch. He will shoot from anywhere, Laura Robert. Andy Griffin did well to get that cross in, and Shearer! Nine minutes to go, and Shearer has snatched the lead for Newcastle. Typical. Great service from Griffin. And Newcastle may well have got the points. Welcome to monsoon time in Barcelona. Rain stopped play and the 24-hour delay meant that many of the Magpie fans had to return home and missed Bobby's return to the new Camp. Senor Robson had guided Barcelona to the Spanish Cup, the Spanish Super Cup and the European Cup Winners' Cup. It was an emotional return. Motta. Blocked by Bernard. Xavi. And Danny! Six and a half minutes on the watch. Louis Van Aal acclaims Barcelona's opening goal. Noel Solano for a second time. Getting a little bit of fortune. Here's Kieran Dyer. And a chance for Ami Obi. What a story that is. Shoulder Ami Obi. At the new camp for Newcastle United. And he's very nearly silenced the place. Overmars. Clybert! 2-1! Plenty of pushing and shoving going on. Now, was that over the line? It is. The flag's up far side. It's a goal. And it's another goal for Barcelona. And a desperate attempt on the post to keep the ball out was not sufficient. I remember in a, in a debriefing exercise, we, we, we talked about this and showed it on, on film, you know, to what had happened. And, and a couple of players laughed. You know, and I said, what are you laughing at? I, do you think that's funny? Because I said, I don't think that's funny. I think that's a disgrace. I, I, and I mean that sincerely. And while Keaton is a terrific boy and he's been a great bar here, that night, that was unprofessional. He lost his alertness. He lost his attention to a crucial situation. Keaton, to be fair, when he saw it, he couldn't believe how bad he'd been. He couldn't remember that he was that bad. I said, well, have a look at it again, just to make sure that you do remember it. And so we showed it to him again. And he was totally embarrassed. Next, for the second time in a month, two of the Premiership's top strikers, former colleagues at Blackburn, came face to face. Bellamy. Bellamy scurries forward and looks for the shot. What a superb strike from Craig Bellamy. Created it himself and finished it immaculately. Southampton straight away are into the attack. And Chris Marston slides in for the equaliser. There's the time to have a look up. And the O'Brien. Oh, that was against his own bar. And you're kicking the other way. Oh, very 
cool and calm from Edwin van der Sar. Perhaps a little bit too cool and calm because there's Solano with the lob. And there's 1-0 to Newcastle. Oh, he's taken that magnificently. Well, Edwin van der Sar, what was he doing? He was just trying to be flashed there and he got caught out very badly. The last person you want to give it to in that position is Solano. Dyer read the situation well, kept running. Kieran Dyer, excellent work. Trying to put it across. Well, there's a signal there from the assistant linesman. Referee sees it. Penalty to Newcastle United. Alan Shearer steps forward. Oh, my word, you do not see that every day. David Schumpenadel had it nipped off him by Dyer. And that's going to run through as far as Craig Bellamy. And that will do it. Craig Bellamy on his 50th start for Newcastle United. Registers his sixth goal of the season. This is Ricardo Gardner. And Okocha. Oh, that is a stunning strike from JJ Okocha. Four minutes gone, one new ball. Solano slides it through the die, who's made an excellent run. And there is Shearer, and that is 1-1. One, one. United level in three minutes. What a start to this game. Gardner now with a free kick, and that's flown in for Ricardo Gardner. Three goals in four minutes now, 2-1. It's only half clear. Franson knocks it in, and Ricketts. 3-1, Bolton right on half-time. Very speed, knocking that one back, but it's come up short. Here's Ricketts, another disaster, it's 4-1 to Bolton now. Amiobi, nice little touch and turn. They've got a deflection off Dyer, but Amiobi will claim that for 4-2. Newcastle are still going here. Here's Shearer. Oh, that's flown in from Alan Shearer. An absolute rocket from the captain. And Newcastle are still pushing at 4 3. And in height and distance on that one. Shearer challenging for it. That's from Ned Leaking. And it's fallen for Bellamy. Just wide. Robert with the throw now. Ball and loose for Gary Speed. Excellent finish from Speed. Straight on to it. That was a clean hit. This is Tarico now. Oh, good save from Shea Given. Bellamy's away now. Florenti's trying to hold him up. Bellamy again. Looks for the room. Gets it into the middle. Shearer. Never a chance in the world he's going to miss that one. Great work from Bellamy, though, twisting and turning, picking out his captain, and you can bank on Shearer to do the rest. Sharing him into the middle. Davizas. Oh, that is a classic own goal from Nikos Davizas. That's top draw. United were joint fourth in the Premier League with a game in hand. If they won that, they'd be joint second. At the start of 2003, Newcastle were title contenders. You know, deep down, you think, well, we've got a chance here. Um, and results, when you get good results, it uh, breeds confidence. And, you know, football's all about confidence. And uh, when you get in a run of form, then, you know, you, you want to play anybody and you think you can beat anyone as well. And uh, that's the mentality we had for a real good run. A new year and a new face in the starting lineup. Brian Kerr was in the team. Speed, Solano and Dyer were all injured. St James's Park's first foot was Gerard Houllier's Liverpool. Bellamy head down and off on a run. He's got Shearer out wide. Reese is the defender. That's a free kick. Right on the edge of the penalty box. Oh, Robert. He's hit it. And he scored! 13 minutes gone, Laura Robert. The trusty left foot does it again. He really blasted it, he got a big deflection of Milan Barros. And Kirkland can only get a hand to it. And a second of the season for Robert. In the FA Cup, Newcastle were drawn away to Wolves. 
for United's pre-season win at Molyneux was long forgotten. The first division side let off the fireworks and they went through with the odd goal in five. And it's balling for Paul Ince and Wolves have got the lead, five minutes gone. And this is Cameron now. In comes Kennedy, Mark Kennedy. 2-0 Wolves, they're flying now. And so Bobby looks stunned. Solano. Now Bellamy, we're going to get round the back of the defence. He's got Shearer in the middle. The shot's blocked. And Jenis, Jermaine Jenis, that's his first goal. He came storming in and just managed to steer it home. The fight back's on now. Hit long for Bellamy to chase. Lescott's the defender. And he's yanked him down, and that's a penalty. That was unnecessary. Grabbed the Bellamy. Shearer's got the chance to level it now. Alan Shearer, his 16th of the season. It's 2-2. Two, two. two in two minutes. Shearer on the spot. Shearer's going to have a blast. Oh, let's go off the line and let's go again for the Cunha. Unbelievable defending there. Not once, but twice. And it didn't cross that line. Kennedy's cross. Given across the face of his goal. And Dar's in there. And Wolves have got the lead again, George and Dahl. Newcastle striving for that equaliser again. Here's Bellamy and the block from Matt Murray. Bellamy storming through, but the keeper did so well. They've got a, a mammoth victory, and I'm not disappointed. I'm just pr pretty sick. And I think we ha we'll have a, a disappointed in the Six City as well, uh, back in Newcastle because the cup means a lot to us, and we've lost a, a gigantic game. And, um, and I'm cross, and I'm trying to keep cool. Um, but we've gone. It's, it's history. The FA Cup for us now is history. Shola Amiobi was in for the suspended Alan Shearer at West Ham. Kieran Dyer wore the captain's armband. Amiobi, great work out wide. And Gillis and Bellamy, that's a lovely goal. Great skill and a great start for Newcastle. Excellent build-up and great presence of mind for Bellamy. Caldwell gets it clear, but only as far as Joe Cole. And that's the equaliser. 1-1. Lomas. Still with Steve Lomas. He's got into the middle. Here's Jermaine Defoe. Nice turn, even better turn. That's a fabulous finish from Jermaine Defoe for 2-1. Amiobi fighting in there, out for Jemis. Oh, what a strike! Nine minutes to go, and Jemis with a magnificent volley. Fabulous skill, look at the technique. He's buried that pass, James. Noir Noir's cross, and that is pure quality from Jermaine Jemis. Alan Shearer was the Barclay Card Player of the Month, and against Manchester City, he was the man of the minute. The very first... That is Shearer! Always hungry, and today against a man who bought him for Newcastle for £15 million. Pounds. Jens. In for Gota. Lovely touch for Bernabia. Hit the post. Robert at full tilt again. Bellamy waiting in the area. Robert's cross. Bellamy! Fast and thrusting, Newcastle, two to the good at the Gallagher end. Bellamy for Dyer. And Dyer for Robert, who has the whole penalty area to himself. But for Carlo Nash, who made an important save. Good luck. There's Bellamy, and yes, Bellina looks as though he's in for a busy night. Bellamy's away, just waiting for the ball to come down. Here's Craig Bellamy, and Gotti is with him. Supports arriving through Jenner. So easy. 
perfect timing on the run from Jermaine Jennings. He walked that one into the net. It was all about the running. First of Bellamy and then of JJ. This is Dyer. Now Solano. And here comes Shearer onto it. Against the bar. Nearly vintage Shearer. Ricketts. Charlton again pushing up into that space. He was going across to cover. Caldwell, all given was a full stretch. Side netting. We defend from the front as well, so it's, it's, it's a, a team game, you know. Um, and to be fair to Craig and Alan, and the you know, four midfielders, they all worked their socks off to, to defend. And uh, as you say, the gaffer mentioned the four defenders done exceptionally well as well. So, you know, we, we attack as a team, we've got to defend as a team, and we've, we've done that really well in the last couple of games. This one heading for a nil-nil draw, unless somebody can come up with something in these last few minutes. Here's Luar Luar. Bellamy takes over now. A few defenders ahead of him. Still with Craig Bellamy. Casey Keller pushes it out. And Jermaine Jennings. That looks like the winner. And Jennings, four goals in five games. Great work, Bellamy. And Jennings was right there. Everyone was saying to me, once you get one, Joe, you're going to go on a run and you're going to you're going to score a few, you know. And inside, I was thinking, yeah, maybe, maybe, but you never know. Obviously, it's, it's a tough league and chances don't come that often uh, for midfielders. So I just continued to do what I was doing. Just kept my head down, kept focusing on uh, trying to get myself a chance and that. Jonathan Woodgate arrived at St James's Park for nine million pounds. The Middlesbrough-born defender jumped at the move. Leeds United jumped at the money. We got Jonathan Woodgate at, at what I think is a very good price. He's 23 years of age. He can play here for 10 years at, at really top quality. And he's English, and that, I think that was, that's important. Newcastle United conducted the only transfer in the transfer window in January, uh, not only in England, in Europe. Nobody else bought another player to, to, that, to that amount. Newcastle was the only club that did it. So the chairman, you know, he's a miracle man, the chairman. He's, he's, he's found money. And he's backed me, and, he's, and he has spent money on the team. Sir Bobby was a winner in the North East Sports Awards. Malcolm McDonald, Super Mac, presented the Jackie Milburn Trophy to Newcastle's Super Manager. Jonathan Woodgate was given a super reception. Woodgate hoped that his move would be the ticket to a trophy. And this match would go a long way to seeing if Newcastle deserved their billing as title contenders. At home to Arsenal, the reigning champions and the current leaders. Laura Robert. Really attacking the Arsenal defence. He's got Shearer in the middle. Shearer! Oh, against the foot of the post. What a start that would have been. Seaman was struggling. Henri with a corner kick. Vieira off the line. Pires, it was Solano on the line. Amazing. Vieira's header, underside of the bar. Here's Solano. Shearer! Great volley, but straight at Seaman. Henry's off again. Bergkamp is in the middle. Fabulous save, but it was from Bramble. Thank you, mate. Bramble, first time. And Given had to pull it out. Silva Wiltor, tucked it through for Henri. A trademark finish from Thierry Henri. 1 0 Arsenal. So Bobby knew this game was going to be tight. Here's Robert into the middle. Well, ricochet there, O'Brien, and Bellamy hits one just over the top. Dyer, Shearer. there from Ashley Cole, but it's run free and picked up now by Gary Speed. Here's Laura Robert, still with Robert, still with Robert. Fabulous equaliser, Laura Robert, that left foot again. Great work, the tackles came flying in, but Robert kept his cool and found the corner of the net. Seaman had no chance, it's 1-1. Yes, get in, says Sir Bobby. Bergkamp being held back there by Laura Robert. Robert blocking that free kick, he could be in trouble, he has been booked. 
and he kicked the boy Lauren then as well. That's a yellow card and it's going to be followed by a red and that's a disaster for the man who got the equaliser. Keown getting involved. Bergkamp was being held in there by Robert. Wanted to take it. There was the block or the feint. There was the block again and he didn't get away with that. Harsh. Bellamy. That's still looking for it. Oh, Seaman at full stretch. Change and Ronaldinho and Naye. But Bellamy couldn't find the net. Seaman just palmed it over. When it was 11 v 11 with Laurent on a high, having scored a fantastic goal, an equalising goal, we lifted the crowd, the team lifted themselves, every individual player was on a, you know, was, was, was in a special mood. And we weren't afraid, we were playing with a lot of conviction and courage and a lot of confidence and we just might have gone on to win it. And, I, and, I, and I'll tell you this, I think Arsene Wenger will be happy that the game ended when it did, because I wasn't. Tuesday the 18th of February 2003 was Bobby Robson's 70th birthday. It was also Jermaine Giannis's 20th. They celebrated together with a trip to Germany in the Champions League. Luano R now. Looking to go through his tricks early on. He's got round the outside, has he? Yes, still got possession. Still going. Amiobi, what a start! Five minutes gone. Shola Amiobi from Luar Luar, and the stand-ins have done it all right. Amiobi challenging there. Amiobi's nicked it back. Amiobi through the middle. It's two. That's the icing on to Bobby's birthday cake. Amiobi kept his balance and his composure. Two up in 15 minutes, this is a fabulous performance. Maybe Keeson trying to find some sort of foothold, that's a nice one too, that's Franca. And they've got one back, 2-1 now to Newcastle. Oliver Neuville chasing this, has managed to keep it in, but Bernard's nicked it, Robert... And here's a great chance, Loire, Loire, what a finish! And Neubel was punished then. Loire, Loire, from Robert's cross, that is emphatic. Shearer. Robert. Shearer again. Here's Kieran Dyer with a chance. And he's buried in as well. 1-0 Newcastle. And Dyer's long wait for a goal is over. 17 games since he found the net. No problem there, though. 1 0. 1 4. Bellamy to chase. Looking for a bit of support. Shearer's up there as well. Bellamy likes to go solo. And here's Kieran Dyer again. And it's a second for Dyer and a second for Newcastle. And a great start to the second half. And Dyer goes nearly four months without scoring, and now he's got two. Lovely finish as well. Robert into the middle, and Shearer's on the end of it. 3-0. You provide the service, I'll provide the finish, says the skipper. And he did. Dyer. Oh, Dyer could be in here. He's looking for the hat trick. Kieran Dyer. Oh, so close. He's had a storm up. <laughs> Gary Speed. Into the middle for Shearer. What a start. Five minutes gone. Shearer again. Perfect delivery from Gary Speed. Meat and drink. Oh, that's really careless. Straight to Shearer. Amiobi. Still with Amiobi. And Shearer's waiting there. And it's two. And this Leverkusen defence is in tatters again. Queuing up for it. Franca away here. And pulled down by Gibbon. And that's going to be a penalty. Goal scorer in Germany goes over. 
Franca collides with Gibbon. And Oliver Neuville has the chance. Oh, Gibbon saves it and balances his own foot. Good sharp save that. Robert on for Emiobi and Dyer chasing it and Dyer held back there. Yes, it's a penalty. Klein with the foul. And totally unnecessary as well. Now, Shearer to show how it's done, perhaps. Oh, I should say so. That is the way to do it. 3-1. And Shearer the hat-trick. He's the man again. Babic goes for the return ball. And that is a neat goal, but little consolation, surely. This was a very special occasion for the Blythe Spartans team of 1978, reunited to remember a famous match 25 years ago in the fifth round of the FA Cup. It's the furthest a non-league club has ever got in the competition. Their replay against Wrexham was played at St James's. It was full to overflowing with thousands locked out. Blythe lost 2-1. The FA Cup winners that year were Ipswich Town under manager Bobby Robson. 25 years later, Sir Bobby sent out Jonathan Woodgate for a home debut against Chelsea. Solano short to Viana. Solano now with a chance to get it into the middle. Oh, that is a stonker from Jimmy Floyd Hasselbeck. That is one of the great own goals. You want to frame that one and put it on the wall. Hasselbank with a corner now. Given rather stranded. Lampard back in. Good finish. 1-1. And Bobby can't believe it. Speed nicks it away. Biana now with a chance to look up and cross. And Shearer. Still Shearer. They just got a foot in there. Square now for Viana. Bernal's made a run, it's a great ball to him. And it's 2-1, Olivier Bernard. Super move. What an immaculate ball through for him. Oh, and Bernard did well to lift that over Cudicini. So a winning start to Jonathan Woodgate's time on Tyneside. His transfer had been controversial. He tends not to give interviews. So here's a Newcastle United exclusive. Here's Woodgate on what it's been like. When I played here for Leeds, uh, we beat them 2-0 at the start of the season. The fans were immense. It's a, it's a hard place to come up with St James's Park. Just the, the, the noise of the fans is just unbelievable. And they are, they've shown they are great fans this season. I spoke to Kieran a few times as it was... Like in the papers and that I spoke to him because he's my mate. I've spoke to him since we since we were about 19 in the England squad together, so there was no change. He was telling me to come and all that, and I decided to move to Newcastle. I like the music before the game. To be fair, that song I don't know what that song is, but it's a great song. Uh, just get you going straight away, and you hear the raw. And I'm not really one for like like you can't know me either crowd, but when I come here, the crowd was like. We fought with the L. That's that's uh, that's some noise. I enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, my first game in eight weeks. I got a bit tight towards in the game. Give a few passes away, which I wasn't happy with. But all in all, I thought I did okay in that game. I th did think in my mind. I think I'd get a bit of stick for what happened before and that. But to be fair, I, I just got on with it. Said what I had to say and just move on from it all now. It gives me confidence to know that Bobby Robson has bought me and the pedigree of players that he's worked with. So I think to myself, well, I'm starting off confident already because he's bought me. I think we can become a, a very solid unit. Um, practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes permanent. So we've got to keep on practicing and keep on doing and improving all the time. And I think we've got a good chance of being a, a solid back, back four unit, whoever steps in. On the back of four wins, Newcastle went to Middlesbrough and faced one of the strongest back fours in the Premiership. Jermaine Genus was in for Novi Solano, but United's creativity was curtailed by a battling borough. Dyer now looking for a way through the middle, but he got right underneath that one. Sir Bobby looking philosophical there. Now 
it's Laurent Robert away and trying to find a path through the middle and hits it. He's done that before and found the net. Out wide for Frank Cadre. It's a good ball in and Jeremy finds the corner of the net. It's 1-0 to the bar just after the hour. Olivier Bernard one foots his man and just past that far post. Good effort. It was a derby game of very, very few chances. Um, it was always going to be the first goal. I thought that um, that went on and took control of the, the game. Um, and that was the important one. They got it and it was bitterly disappointing. We tried very hard, but they reduced us to very few chances and um, not many teams have done that this season, so they deserve a lot of credit. The Champions League and Newcastle needed a result in the San Siro. Defeat would spell the end of United's European campaign. A win would put qualification for the quarter-finals in Newcastle's own hands on the final match day at home to Barcelona. First things first, into Milan. Greg Bellamy now. Got round the back of the defence. He's got Shearer in the middle. And Newcastle have got the lead in the San Siro. Alan Shearer, four minutes to half-time. Oh, look at them celebrate. Bellamy the provider and Shearer the man again. What a game. Uh, and the Italians are right back again. We're novices at this level and we're still learning. And uh, we have to learn very quickly if we're going to progress. But there's a bitterly disappointed dressing room in there because we know we've done enough to have won the game. We've created enough chances. Um, but we should have beat that team tonight. Bellamy. He's absolutely surrounded. But they'll do well to catch up with Craig Bellamy or keep up with him. And Yule did that. And the referee's given a penalty. Yule is furious. You can see him accusing Bellamy of going down too easily. Jason Yule was always struggling to get there. There was certainly contact between them and certainly a, a hand in Bellamy's midriff. Every Shearer goal is an event to him. Alan Shearer's 144th goal for Newcastle United and only Jackie Milburn and Len White in the golden post-war years have scored more in magpie stripes now. Clever from Bellamy, on by Shearer. Here goes Craig Bellamy, he's away from Fish. He's got support from Solano! Shearer and Bellamy combined so well. And Solano, who was always free, was left with the simplest of tasks. The Sport Newcastle annual dinner at the Civic Centre. Black tie and dominated by the black and whites, including the coach of the year, Newcastle's John Carver. Promoted to first team coach by Ruth Hullett, Carver has become a major part of Bobby's backroom team. He gets on well with the players, but he's firm with the players. He's not afraid of the players. I think that's one of the most fundamental, important points you have to have as a, as a member of staff, you know, that you work with your players and you can control them and that they respect you because you respect them. He's been uh, a plus for me, to be honest. Um, I, I consider him now to be, you know, my, my right-hand man on, on the coaching team. Back to business and Barcelona were back at St James's. Impressive with the pre-season friendly, they were unbeaten in the Champions League. To stay in the competition, Newcastle had to win and hope that Inter didn't beat Leverkusen. A place in the quarter-finals would be the prize, but United had reached the end of their European journey. Craig Bellamy's early chance was just off the target, but the other match was already going the wrong way. Inter were leading in Germany, and as the news filtered through, Newcastle's lifeline slipped away. Titus Bramble was hassled by Patrick Kluivert, Barca were in front, Newcastle were going out. The defending was disappointing again as Motta made it two, Inter Milan also won 2-0 at Leverkusen, so United were left to ponder what might have been. Beating Juve here and, and, and going to Inter Milan and, and getting a 2-2 draw, and we know we should have won in Inter Milan. We know we should have won in Inter Milan. We should have beaten them in Inter Milan. You know, all that coming back in the Premiership, 
it, it lifted us. Three days later, we were playing a tough match, either home or away. And we were, I mean, what we've done, where we've, I think, played 20 times coming back out of Europe and not lost, I think is, uh, it's not good. It's phenomenal. It's maybe not phenomenal. I think it's rare. And we did it. And it's, 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 it's hard to answer, to be honest. You think, God. Oh, can we do it again? Three days later, we've come back, we've travelled, look, look a little bit weary, and do I change the team? And yeah, maybe one spot, or we have an injury, and and, and the boys have come out, and, and on wherever we played, whether it was Charlton away or a home match at home, we've had a big resolve, big perseverance in the side to, to, to get out and play to the last minute, and we've been marvellous. Robert. He's beaten his man well. And again, and again, and again. And Solano! And Newcastle have got the lead. 23 minutes gone. And Laura Robert had the Rovers' defence absolutely dizzy. And Solano was there. Robert over this free kick. So too is Solano. It's going to be Robert. Oh, he really had that one shaking. Great strike. And there was caution for that foul on Dunn. But this is Duff. Oh, that's a superb strike for 1 1. Damien Duff. Robert again. He's already crashed one against the post. Robert, this time he's found the net. It's 2 1. Laura Robert again. That deadly left foot through the defence and past Friedel. Hughes now, he's got a bit of space, he's had a good look up as well. Here comes Jealous. So precise. He's really got into his goal scoring stride in the second half of the season. Excellent. What a talent. Dyer. Oh, he's taken on the lot and he's still going. What can he do from that angle? Oh, it's an own goal from Gresco. 4-1, and Newcastle are really finishing it off in style. Amiobi. It's fallen apart. Great delivery, and what confidence with the finish. At the start of April, Newcastle were looking good, and like their new sponsor's advertising slogan, they were hard to beat. Northern Rock replaces NTL on the club's new kit. The league table was looking good too. Third place, just three points off the top. The next two matches would test the title challengers against teams in the top five, at home to Manchester United, and first away to Everton. Goodison Park, a tough place to come these days. There's the man of the moment, Wayne Rooney starts. Corner taken short to open up the angle. Flick from here, oh, would you believe it? Wayne Rooney again. Woodgate, a little bit of room for him here. That's an excellent ball out to Laura Robert. And that is a fantastic goal from the Frenchman. An absolute cannonball. Great work by Woodgate. And Robert just lashed it. Sensational. Robert's corner, Woodgate. Right got a hand to it, but it hammered against the crossbar. Bellamy. Oh, he's round his back. Shearer's in the middle. Didn't reach him. Yogo was there. Gravison. Oh, that's a shocker on Bernard. Bernard has gone flat out. Referee's having a look back. Bernard's down, but he's not stopped play. Everton's still coming forward. The Newcastle fans in the crowd don't like that. Referee's had another look, and still play goes on. And this is Campbell, and that's Woodgate. Oh, that's a penalty. 
they will not be happy with that. Neil Barry, they're claiming, should have stopped it. That was a shocker. Meanwhile, Campbell goes on. Woodgate put an arm around him, and that brought the penalty. Woodgate's offence. David Unsworth, no sympathy at all. And it's 2-1 Everton. So Bobby looks furious. Robert's free kick. Can Newcastle get an equaliser? Right from Bramble. Titus Bramble was up there. Good goalkeeping, though, from Richard Wright. We've lost three points today, which really takes away, I think, uh, the, the, the slender chances that we had of perhaps winning it. And um, we're a long way now from winning the championship, I think. The referee made a pretty poor decision. And in fact, the lad could have got sent off as it happens, but uh, some days you get them, you know, and sometimes, some days you don't. And today we didn't get that decision. It cost us the match, but no point bleeping about it. It was a hard fought game, and they'll be delighted with three points. So the last match before Easter was Newcastle's last chance to stay in the running. The biggest match of the Premiership season at home to Manchester United. We've got to win it. Without a doubt, if we don't, I mean, it's been a fantastic season, Bob! being all over Europe, but we've got to win this one today. I'd like to see five. Philippe Albert's in there anyway, try and do it in his honour, but I can't see five, but I think we'll win it. Pre-match memories were of Newcastle's famous win against Manchester United. Would there be another bunch of five? On the day, Newcastle were left battered and bruised. The captain was challenging for everything. Both teams were challenging for the title. Solano into the middle, and here's Bellamy, and Bartes pushes it clear. And here comes Genus. Did you see that from Jermaine Genus? That is some strike. Right in the top corner, Bartes, not a hope. And it's lift off for Newcastle. Jermaine Genus with a just fantastic goal. Giggs into the middle and Solskjaer has got him behind the defence. That's the equaliser from Manchester United. Scholes. Solskjaer and Scholes with the return. And United have got the lead through Paul Scholes. Here's Giggs now. Where's Brown? Scholes again. A thunderbolt from Scholes. Devastating football again. John O'Shea. The rebound and Giggs, and it's another one. They're unstoppable. Newcastle still on the rack, and now it's Gary Neville coming forward. And here's Scholes, and that's his hat trick. Paul Scholes, what a performance! And now Van Nistel arrive for the penalty spot. You knew it would be six. You can't keep him out. Bartes, it's another sloppy. Clearance and Shola Amiobi through the middle now pulls a goal back for Newcastle 6 2. We just lost focus, we conceded bad goals, we had six players out of ten on the, on the pitch who played poorly. Horrendous, bad display, humiliating. No one likes to get beat 6 2, especially by Man United. Um, Man United played a brilliant game, but I thought too many of our players didn't perform to the capabilities on the day. To lose 6 2 against United is, um, is a disaster, really, to be honest. Um, we had high hopes before the game, and uh, but to be fair, they, they, they were really on top of their game. They, they played some great football and scored some you know, quality goals. Uh, on the day, we, we couldn't live with them, you know. We can beat Man United, we can beat Arsenal on our day, but Man United and, beat, and, Man United and Arsenal beat teams more regularly, more often, with more consistency. That's why they're always at the top. And we've we do that this year, but we just haven't done it as much as Manchester United and Arsenal. And that's the next step, and hopefully we can, we can achieve that. It's one of the worst days I've ever had as a manager. And I've been a manager for 33 years. I have, to, I have to tell you that. So, you know, however unhappy people were, imagine my feelings. I'm the manager, and that's one of the most unhappiest days I've ever had in 50 years of football. <laughs> Sir Bobby's career spans more than five decades. The dominant player over the last ten years is another.
I've had some great times over the ten years, but I've had some, some disappointing times as well. Obviously, notably the, the serious injuries that I've uh, that I've had, and I've had uh, certainly my share and, and someone else's as well. But I think, on the other hand, the pleasing thing is that I've I've been able to to come back from them, and um, after each and every one, there was there was question marks uh, as whether I'd come back the same player. Um, but hopefully, I've I've proved um, all those doubts wrong. In towards Bellamy, comes back for him again. It's got away from the defence, but it's got to beat them again. Jetu is a defender looking for the penalty, doesn't get it. Derma Gallagher having none of it. Bellamy got it down under control and took on Jetu, didn't get it. The Arna's corner. Ashira! How many times have you seen him do that? The service was perfect from Viana, and so was the finish. Griffin underneath it, came off his back. Belmorte, oh, that's a clumsy challenge, and Griffin's in trouble. Booked already for a foul on Belmorte. That's a second yellow card and a red, and he's off, Andy Griffin. Belmorte looked to knock it around him, and the tackle was late. Silvan Legwinski has got a few yards ahead of him. Oh, that's a tremendous strike, and it's 1-1 Legwinski. Carson haven't got this one away yet. Hales, Lee Clark. Lee Clark scored for Fulham. Lee Clark, of all people, sunk by the Newcastle fan. It is Solano. Oh! Just a job. Peruvian Nobby Solano chose his spot and located it. It's Staunton who's flung it in. It's Dublin who's equalised. Solano. by Melbourne, Lua Lua, away from Leonardson, oh he's hit the post, that was brilliant, this guy is a very special talent. A few Premiership managers wouldn't mind queuing up for these signatures, to get this close to the players though you have to be a member of the Junior Magpies Club. The players had to decline birthday party invitations because this was the weekend of the Time Weir Derby. Newcastle's ticket allocation for the match at the Stadium of Light was a complete sellout. United were rubbing their hands at the prospect of picking up some more points towards Champions League qualification. Sunderland were playing for pride and they produced one of the best performances of their season. It could well be the last time we're Derby for some time. Griffin's throw, Dyer picks up. The ball inside, Solano with space, puts it across. Shearer trying to get there, did get there, not going to count. Solano had the chance, Shearer pushing in on the back there of Darren Williams, no goal. Bellion stepping inside. Now Bellion tries to shoot. It's a great hit and a good save. Well, David Bellion, a surprise inclusion today. Could have written his name in Sunderland folklore. Caldwell looks for Bellamy. It might come for Bellamy. Great Bellamy through the middle for Newcastle United. First shot saved. And again, and it's blocked. Ball over the top. It was too good for Craddock. It came in, his first shot wasn't well struck, it was saved, his second shot was well blocked by Crudder. Well, Alan Shearer clearly has got a big problem here. He's not been right for the last four or five minutes since this 50-50 challenge with Sean Thornton. And the Newcastle skipper has been forced out of the derby. Shola Amiobi's got his chance. Thornton's corner. 
Poor header away from Viana. Kilban was there. Now Arca. Arca puts it in. There's a little header there. There's a chance. It's still there. And it's inches wide. Bellion doesn't know. It came in. The chance for Bellion. Great save. The missed kick from Woodgate. Wide. Here's a chance now for Newcastle. Oh, it hit Bellamy's heel. Solano, good turn. Bellamy again. Bellamy goes down. Penalty kick. Well, Kilban did get the man, did not get the ball. It is a penalty kick to Newcastle. The 124th Weird Time Derby, and Alberto Solano has opened the scoring for Newcastle United. Solano kept his nerve, sent Sorensen the wrong way. Solano the goal scorer. Ball at the top, no offside. It's Bellamy, it's Bellamy. Great save by Sorensen, keeps Sunderland in it. Everything is going through Craig Bellamy. He won the penalty, he nearly won the match for Newcastle here. Good save from Sorensen. Good turn from Amiobi. Very good turn from Amiobi. Here's Shoulder Amiobi. Trying to go back, but Bellamy's in now. Craig Bellamy, that's a super save from Sorensen. Bellamy can't believe that one didn't go in. Sorensen, strong hands. Ryan did well to nip that one out wide. To, to Williams. The cross comes in. Bellion's there. There's a header in now. There's a chance for Kaya, it's not going to stand. The goal has been disallowed. Kevin Kyle found the back of the net, but Tor Andre Flo has been penalised for that challenge on Shea Given. No goal. Kilban is beaten in the air. And that will do it for the 124th we're time derby. Sir Bobby Robson's Newcastle United team beat Mick McCarthy's Sunderland team. Words are exchanged between the managers. A tense derby was settled by Norberto Solano's first half penalty. Overall, we had the edge in skill and pace, uh, but they were very combative. It's probably the best they played all season. I don't think they played like that. Uh, for a long, long time, had they done so, I think they might have got themselves out of trouble. It picks us up, because obviously we have been low of confidence and that was evident against Aston Villa. And uh, now we can go into the Birmingham game full of confidence. The crowd will be in great spirits because we've just beat uh, the local rivals and hopefully that should keep us in good stead. I'm a North Eastern and I love all the football, to, you know, clubs to do well in the North East. And these are great games for the public to, uh, you know, to come to. Great rivalry, a bit of hatred as well, but, but those, are, those are different people. But a lot of rivalry, a lot of keenness, uh, and the two big clubs fight it out. I mean, they're just great football days. Have you ever seen a rivalry? I know a lot of fans are glad to see the back of them, but uh, there's nothing like Derby Day. I know we've got Middlesbrough as well. Um, as a derby, but it, it's not the same as the Sunderland game, and uh, it's no better feeling than doing the double over Sunderland. <laughs> the silverware had slipped away from Newcastle, but there were trophies on display before the last home match. Gary Speed is the player with the most Premiership appearances over the last decade, and Alan Shearer is the top flight's top player of the last 10 years. Newcastle wore their new kit against Birmingham, the Blues have been steered to safety by their Geordie manager, Steve Bruce. The Black and Whites still needed a win to finish in the top four. Solano's long ball forward and Bellamy is off on a big chase here. Upson is with him. Now, this could be trouble. David Ellery says that was a goal-scoring opportunity and Upson is off. Bellamy was flying, great long ball forward. That's a foul, that's a goal-scoring opportunity. Viana with a free kick, and he's converted it. Well, Laura Robert will be proud of that one. 
perfectly done by Hugo Viana. So easy, he just clipped it in the top corner, and Bennett in the Birmingham goal got nowhere near it. Well, the Newcastle players can afford to celebrate now. It's been a great afternoon, courtesy of Liverpool and Chelsea, who've both lost, and that has guaranteed third place. Alan Shearer limping there, but it's really smiles all round for a great job. Here we are. We made it an improvement on last year, fourth to third, which in that context is really quite massive. If you go from 20th to 19th or 19th to 18th, it's not so great. But from fourth to third is, 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 a, is a big step. Jermaine Genus has made a big step up over the last season. The BFA's Young Player of the Year was also the North East Young Player of the Year. Genus earned his first full England cap in 2003. While his captain decided not to return to the international stage, instead Alan Shearer led from the front for Newcastle. He's the North East Player of the Year and his strike against Everton was the goal of the season. The manager's latest award was a Doctorate of Civil Law degree, conferred by Newcastle University. It was another great honour for Bobby. He was even happy to wear red and white for the day. And so to the final game of the season against West Bromwich Albion at the Hawthorns. Solano with the corner. And Genus is in there. And Jermaine Genus scores with his head just before half time and he looks delighted with that we know he's got a great shot well he can head them in as well good jump and steered in the corner Solano with the delivery again and off the bar that was so close for Abiobi chipped in over the top of the defence Scott Doby is in here and he scored Scott Doby Piana. The defence has still got to deal with that one. Amiobi is in there challenging. Luar Luar! Typical of the man. Would have been brilliant. Piana again taking his time and clipping the ball into the middle. And called well. And Bennett does well. And he needed the cover. So Bobby's old team. Certainly never give up the ghost, and Doby has got a second. Piana scored from this position against Birmingham last week, and he's done it again against West Brom. Perfectly struck. 2-2, Piana, what an impact he's had. So Manchester United regained the title, Arsenal relinquished the trophy, Newcastle have broken into the top three in the Premiership, they're heading back into Europe, they're flying high. The taste we got for the Champions League was there's nothing better than playing against the best in Europe and the biggest stadiums in Europe, you know. It's, uh, it's completely different to playing in any of the Premier League games, you, know, you get a completely different atmosphere and everything. A club like Newcastle, it's the only place a club like Newcastle's got to be at, you know, the crowd we get, the atmosphere is, you know, they deserve to be in this competition year in, year out, and it's, and it's a crime if we don't if we don't finish the Champions League every year. It was remarkable. It was exciting. It was it was it was incredible. It was phenomenal. It, it was just wonderful. The players loved it. I did. The board did, because you know there's another injection of money, and uh, and our supporters uh, thoroughly enjoy themselves. We've had some real exciting exciting games, lots of goals, and. Uh, you know, when you speak to even people back in Ireland, say, you know, it's, it's, it's great to watch Newcastle on the TV. It's, you know, it's so exciting. Everybody's in the age of their seats and, uh, you know, it's entertaining football. And, you know, that's what people want to come to football matches for, is to be entertained. And, uh, you know, we, we like to do that. We're nearly there, but uh, we need to be doing it every week, like Man United and Arsenal do now. And I think the lads realise that. And hopefully next year we can take it a step further and um, still be challenging for the titles with one or two games to go and, and so this year we were still challenging with six or seven to go. Let's take it even further next year, that's, that's the aim. You've been in football now 50 odd years as you've said, uh, how much have you enjoyed the last nine months being here? Been fabulous. I mean, people have got to be a bit patient and understanding. I mean, you know, when, when we came here, as you know, and I, it's not, I'm not being egotistical, I'm just stating the facts, we were actually heading for the first division. 
There's no doubt about that. That's where we're heading. You see where Sheffield Wednesday is there now? Well, when I took over this club, that's where we were. We were with Sheffield Wednesdays. They are now in the second division. They've gone bump, bump. We've gone bump, bump the other way. Lots of kids running around Newcastle with Shearer 9 on their back, dreaming of being Alan Shearer. Do you ever go away and dream what it might be like just to get your hands on something <laughs> and lift it up in front of all those people? Every night, every week, um, because that's what I come here for. I just I hope and pray that um, that silverware comes in, in my time as a player because um, I want to see these supporters when we've won something because they're, they're great when we haven't won something. And I just I would like to, to see them when they're holding a piece of silverware.